Hi everyone, it's Gone Researching Tips, Tricks, and How To. This is the fifth instructional video in a series I'm creating on Family Tree Maker 2017. My hope is this will serve as a visual supplement to the companion guide and help built into the program. I think everyone should be able to learn something useful regardless of whether you are new to Family Tree Maker 2017, upgrading from an older version, or have been using the program for a while now. The Places workspace is probably one of the lesser used workspaces, however, there are features of it that are used in other workspaces. So before we get into the Places workspace itself, we need to look at place names in Family Tree Maker. The next video will review the Places workspace itself and the video following that one will cover the Place menu and adjusting resolving place names. This is Places workspace, part one, Place Names. I'd like to first point out that I'm using Family Tree Maker 2017, the build released by Software Mac Kiev in 2017 on an older computer that came with Windows 7 but is now running Windows 10. There are now two updates to Family Tree Maker 2017 that were released in February 2018 and in September 2018. But I'm not using either yet because I'm keeping my program the same version as the cousins while we work on something. For those already running either update, don't worry, everything here still applies to those releases also, though a few features have been tweaked and I'll try to point out any changes or tweaks to, with regards to the updates. Family Tree Maker 2019 is just around the corner. The majority of the content of these videos will apply to Family Tree Maker 2019 also. I will make a separate video overviewing the differences between 2017 and 2019 once 2019 is released. As a reminder, in order to use the records merge feature, you must have Family Tree Maker 2017 version and be signed into your Family Search account, which is free, and or be signed into your Ancestry data subscription to access the record collections on Ancestry, which requires a subscription fee. I say this at the beginning of every video because for the most part, each video can stand alone and you do not have to watch them in order. We need to talk about how Family Tree Maker handles places and locations before we can cover the places workspace itself because knowing this helps you understand the how and why some things do what they do. What makes Family Tree Maker a little different than some genealogy programs is that it is one of the programs that uses a standardized place list. This is sometimes referred to as the place name authority or the place names database in Family Tree Maker. There are about 3 million location names in this authority database that Family Tree Maker accesses, but it is not a list that you can view on its own. You sort of see it as you type locations when using the Fast Fields option. That drop-down list that appears of the closest matches includes location names you have entered and location names in the Place Name Authority Place Names database. I'll talk more about this later. The Place Names Authority Database locations are modern place names, but you need to realize that this Authority Database is one feature that has not been regularly updated in Family Tree Maker. So there are omissions. I have seen that this is a purchase database list, but I do not have confirmation of this. It has also been noted that the treatment of boroughs and neighborhoods of large cities appears to not be handled consistently the same way and even some small villages seen on Bing Maps are not recognized in Family Tree Maker, and yet others are. In any case, remember, the world is a constantly changing place, so more recent changes in place names may not be in the Family Tree Maker Authority database. Those users who are affected by it need to work around this lacking in the Authority database, just as all of us have to deal with modern place names versus historical place names at the time of a specific event. Why you have a place name authority? First, it helps you consistently enter place names the same way, so you do not end up with the same location entered multiple different ways, and you are less likely to misspell a place location. If you do a search for a particular location and you have places named in multiple different ways or spellings, not all of them may end up in the search results list, and thus you miss something. Secondly, because these are modern place names, it allows the program to add the interactive map features. There is no rule that you have to use the Place Name Authority Place Names database, but if you want to use these interactive map features, you do. When working in Family Tree Maker, there are actually three different Place Name databases involved, which can cause frustration if you are not aware of this. We just talked about the first, Family Tree Maker's own authority database. Here's an example Belgrade, 
currently in Serbia is not recognized in Family Tree Maker as indicated by this icon here, which well, I will explain later. As you type Belgrade, you get a variety of options, but nothing with Serbia. The second place name database is Bing Map own place name list that is built into Bing Maps and allows you to search for a location and see it instantly on a map. Of the three, this seems to be the most up-to-date place list. Family Tree Makers Places workspace needs an internet connection to work because that center data panel right here is actually showing the Bing Maps website. That is why you can find C Belgrad Serbia on Bing Maps correctly, and yet Family Tree Makers Authority database does not recognize the location. You go to change place name and resolve unrecognized place names. You can see that there's no options for Belgrad, Serbia. Family Tree Makers Authority database is older and does not contain those newer place names changes. The third place list is from Ancestry.com itself. When you enter a place name in an Ancestry.com search, that list of places that pops up for you to choose from comes from Ancestry's own place name database, which is different than the other two I just mentioned. It recognizes Belgrade, Serbia also, so it too is more up to date than the one in Family Tree Maker. On top of that though, when doing a web search merge of records from the Ancestry website, often the place names used are either historical or as written in the record, which obviously may not match any of the three place name databases. A lot of patience must be exercised when dealing with place names, and sometimes a lot of correction. Okay, to make the most use of the place name authority or place names database, you need to allow Family Tree Maker to compare what you are entering against the authority database. This place options preference can be accessed without any tree file open. It is found under the tools menu and options. In the resulting dialog window, under the Names, Dates, and Places tab, near the lower right, you will see the place options. The default is to have this feature on, so a check is in the box. But you can turn this off by unchecking the box. If for some reason you don't want a specific country's name to appear in Place Fields, Charts, and Reports, you can use the Exclude Selected Country from Resolve Place Name options by selecting the desired country. Note, this does not affect place names resolved by using the Ignore Place Name. Since everything's the way I want it, I'm just going to cancel out of this. So how are place names entered in Family Tree Maker? Generally, place names start with the smallest division and work up to the largest division of a location using a total of four divisions. City or town, county, state, country. City or town, parish or district, province or county, country. Let's look at some examples. We have Stanford, Dutchess, New York, USA. Millington, Tuscola, Michigan, USA. Kingston, Frontenac, Ontario, Canada. Rada Luby, Ludwigslust, Mecklenburg Vorpommern, Germany. Alton Linden, Barcham, Mecklenburg Vorpommern, Germany. Henlo, Bedfordshire, England. Notice that the format does not call for place modifying words like town of, township, village, city, county, parish, or district, or province to be used in the name unless it is officially part of that location's name like Kansas City, for example. Nor are these words abbreviated. The only abbreviation I've seen is USA for United States of America. Of course, I don't have every location in the world entered into my own trees, so this is based on my own observation. When there is a village or city, the name of the town or township is not used because the place name format is using just four divisions, not five. Of course, sometimes the authority database only uses three divisions, like in our England example. Now, what if you do have a place modifier in the place name, or you want or need a place modifier because a village name is the same name as a township name, and you want to be clear which one you are recording? The authority database allows the use of certain place modifiers that the authority database will ignore in deciding an entered place name is judged, recognized, or unrecognized. A list of these, some with accepted abbreviations, can be found in Family Tree Maker's built-in help. You access this by going to Help, Help for Family Tree Maker, Index, and then type in Place 
select place modifier and display. Here's a slide so you can read this better. So the accepted modifier list includes township, borough, shire, parish, and county, all of which have accepted abbreviations you can use if needed. Then there are ward, state, province, community, district, precinct, hamlet, suburb, all of which do not have any accepted abbreviations. As I said, the Place Authority database will ignore these accepted modifiers and see the place name as recognized or resolved so they will fall into the authority hierarchy and be plotted on the map. Pin location on the map may not necessarily be pinned exactly where selecting the ignored modifier sits in relation to the location name not using the modifier. Let's look at an example. Hierarchy, State Michigan, County Tuscola. So we have Millington the village and Millington the township. The pin appears the same spot. What else can affect the place location? Fast fields and a description field. S fields is a feature that lists closest matches as you type, which you can then select using keyboard arrows or your mouse touchpad. Names and location fields, surnames and name fields, text in the description fields, or titles in the source field. This uses information already entered in your tree file, which can save you time typing and help you be consistent in how you enter things. For location fields, it also utilizes the names in the place name authority database. The fast field feature preferences can be accessed without any tree file open. It is found under the tool menus, selecting options, and in the resulting dialog window under the general tab, there are four text fields that can be used the fast fields feature. Name fields, place fields, source titles, and description fields. The default is to have these features on, so a check is in the box. But you can turn these individually off or on as desired. These are all checked, so I'm just going to hit cancel. If you do not already have the description field fact element showing for your places, you'll probably want to turn on that option. Do this by going to the Edit menu, Manage Facts. In the resulting window, you will need to select each fact type you are using in your tree file that you want the description field to be available and adjust the properties here for each changing the fact options from displaying just the fact elements date place to date place and description and okay the change in reports if you want to change the appearance of how the description appears you'll need to tweak this um, standardized sentence structure by changing it from using a parentheses to just using the information that you've typed in. So date, place, and description are already chosen. I'm going to choose cancel. And again, you would do that for every single act or event you want to use the description field for. Now the description field will appear if you need to use it. You see the third line appear. There are two alternate ways to make the description field element show. The People Workspaces Person tab, select a fact in the Individual and Shared Facts panel. Over in the Editing panel, click on the Options drop-down and select Fact Properties. Again, you'll be at that um, Properties window and you'll use a radio button from Date Place to Date Place and Description and OK it. This one's set already, so I'm just going to hit cancel. Another way to access the fact properties is to click your right mouse button and select fact properties, and then make your change. When you make these changes, the change is made to every use of that type of fact. For example, all birth facts. So you only have to do this once. And continue doing this for every fact type you want to display the description field element. As I have said before in earlier videos, there are usually multiple ways to do things in Family Tree Maker. There is one other place name element to tell you about, but it'll be easier to show the place detail in part three of the places workspace because it is tied to the place menu and adjusting resolving place names. Lastly, any location that is recognized by the authority database is given an icon of a map with a check mark to indicate that it is recognized place as seen down here. Recognized places appear pinpointed on the map and fall into the place name hierarchy 
which allows users to see place locations grouped together by proximity and land the linked to this link to all feature will work. I'll explain the link feature in the next video. Any entered place name that is not recognized is given an icon of a map with a question mark to indicate that it is an unrecognized place, as seen here. Unrecognized places usually cannot be pinpointed on the map automatically. These unrecognized places will need to be resolved by identifying the location in Family Tree Maker's Authority Database or telling Family Tree Maker to ignore this place name and manually pinpointing that location on the map. There are a variety of reasons why a place is unrecognized. We will take a look at the place menu and adjusting resolving place names in the seventh video. I think it is important to first familiarize yourself with the place's workspace itself, so we will review it in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you have not watched the videos before this one, I hope you will. It really would be beneficial to watch, especially if reading the companion guide or the built-in help does not thrill you. The next video will be on the Places Workspace, Part 2, The Places Workspace. Thank you for watching. This has been Tips, Tricks, and How-To by Gone Research.